Aquaman in the Lost Kingdom is an upcoming superhero film drawn from the DC Universe. It is a sequel to the Aquaman movie which was released in 2018. The film was written by David Leslie Johnson McGoldrick, produced by Peter Safran and James Wan, who has also directed the movie. Aquaman is a fictional superhero, demi-human, and he hesitates to become the King of Atlantis. Instead, he is part of the Justice League. He has incredible powers such as superhuman strength, stamina, tide control, supersonic swimming, and communication with marine life. What are you doing? It's gonna work for Pinocchio. Who? Never mind, come here, get in, come on! The events of the fantastic tape rapidly revolve around the young Sea King Aquaman. From childhood, Arthur Curry was destined to one day become the protector of the mythical Atlantis. And has it that one day a new king will come who will use the power of the trident to put Atlantis back together? As a child, he began to notice striking differences from his peers. His physical strength grew every year, and underwater the boy could breathe as easily as on land. But the most unusual thing was that the baby easily understood the language of the inhabitants of the depths of the ocean and could speak with them. Naturally, the strange young man was not loved by his peers, but this dislike cared little for Arthur. Quite suddenly, something happened that turned the life of the hero upside down. Curry learned that his mother, Queen Atlana, would soon die. Orvex eventually found out about you. He became overwhelmed with jealousy and sacrificed her to the creatures of the trench. She revealed to her son a terrible secret that shocked the our hero. The woman said that soon he would have to fight with his half-brother Orm for the right to sit on the throne of the majestic state. King Orm is about to declare war upon the surface world. Billions will die, your people and mine. It is the protagonist who will have to fight against numerous underwater enemies, as well as villains living on the surface. Call me Black Manta. <laughs> People have been trying to find Atlantis for a long time in order to get all the treasures of the ancient kingdom. People try to sneak in all the time. Yeah, right. This cannot be allowed, because humanity will definitely turn the knowledge gained against people. Several years have passed since the last story involving Aquaman. Dangerous adventures are left behind, and now Arthur Curry sits on the throne and from time to time remembers those times that he spent in pursuit and adventure. <laughs> The king believes that he has defended his right to the throne and is now trying to be a wise and just ruler for his subjects. There is silence around, a long calm is established on the sea, and it seems that nothing can destroy this lawful peace, which the inhabitants of the water element had been waiting for so long. But one night, under the cover of fog, Arthur's old enemy decides to decide to conceive something terrible and begins to prepare his dastardly plan, not leaving the shadows earlier than usual. The black streak in the life of the kingdom begins small, but Arthur does not know about it yet and only when events begin to unfold at high speed and it becomes clear that war cannot be avoided, the main character begins to prepare for the next battle. But is the king really not strong enough this time to defend his country and his subjects? Despite the fact that Justice League did well at the box office, the filmmakers aren't very interested in collaborating on a superhero film like The Avengers. Assemble. No! One official stated that the DC Universe focuses its films on keeping their films standing still, lonely, so if the movies are doing well, they don't feel the need to bring the characters together. The official elaborated on his statement, saying that Wonder Woman feels good being alone and they feel the same way about Aquaman. The DC Universe believes that Aquaman could be one of the best films in the DC Universe because they have a great sequel and storytelling. In addition, they express their faith in James Wan, director of the Aquaman franchise. Thanks, James. Now, now the world knows I smile, so... Um, it... As they understand that he knows about architecture, armory, army, fields, and looks at the seven kingdoms of Atlantis. 